Welcome aboard everybody to the official coverage of the ASRNZ AMS2 series, the MRX P4 Cup. Uh, this is round five. I'm Davo tonight. Again, I'm joined with ASRNZ oh. legend JB. How you doing, mate? I'm doing well, Davo. Hello. I'm hoping you are well too, my friend. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We're at round five. How do we pronounce this track? We're, we're in <laughs> South America still. Uh, yes, you're right. In Brazil, uh, Cascavel. You, you, you have a say. crack? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going with that. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cascavel. Cascavel. Oh, I like that one too. Yeah. Not sure. But uh, I'm sure somebody else will be able to help us out. With that. <laughs> oh my have you god! Hear, yeah, if you hear one of those crazy uh, <laughs> variations, we're bloody, talking about the same thing. Bloody yeah. Aussie and a Kiwi trying to work out some. <laughs> oh, just, just, just stop laughing. Look, uh, we got the points board up at the moment. Yes, we do. We are in round five. So after round four, we uh, what do we got? What have we got there? What have we got in front of us there? Well, no surprises. The form that Glynn's been running, um, he's up on P1 in the championship with 70 points. Yeah. Uh, Brad in second place, 57. Uh, what's that? 13 points adrift there, Devo. Yep. So, yep. And not far behind him is Mr. Steve Milling uh, on 55 points. Uh, only two behind. So these guys have been pretty close. Um, look, locked horns um, there, so that's going to be one to watch for that podium there, but Aaron, uh, fourth on 48, Dave, zero on 45 points, Farmer, 42 points, Kenny, 35, real race winner, last round there, um, yeah, that was that was nice to see Kenny take that win. <laughs> it's, uh, been get, it's been getting more and more <laughs> epic as the season goes on. Uh, Vaughan on 22, and Bob Laycock on 18, that's your top 10 there, yep. Davo. Yeah, so awesome so, stuff, and great to see Dave here up there. We've sort of been hitting that the, the whole um, series that you know this really is Dave's car. He's sort of really shining in these things. Uh, a little bit of bad luck here and there, mm, sort of kept, mm. him, kept him down on the points a little bit. But uh, he, watch that man. He's quick in these cars. Farmer, it, another one to watch after last week. Very fast. Uh, I think from the back of the pack, hitting the podium um, in race two. Uh, yes, it was. Yes, so Glenn uh, last last week won the first race with Jeff and Farmer, and they both, all three of those guys, started off the back. Yeah, like you just mentioned, and um, it was nice to see a different podium um, in race two there with Kenny, Dave Zero, and Stevo. So good to see those other boys come into the comms box with a bit of excitement in their voice too. Oh, but for sure, those for other sure. boys did have pace, and they you're, you're right, they did come through, carved their way back through the pack. Um, fantastic to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Now we must be winding down. Yes, we got two seconds to go before they head into a qualifying session. So tonight's format here at Cass Havel, the Autodrome International. <laughs> uh, we have uh, heavy cloud conditions. It is in southern Brazil. Uh, ambient temperature around the 25 degrees. Track temp at 33. The, the format, uh, two races Pretty nice. tonight. Temps two, actually. Yeah, it's here. two 25-minute races as we had throughout the season so far with um, two 10-minute qualifying sessions. So I'll qualify now, pretty much, um, and get um, into that. And, yeah, look, it's a three-kilometre track here, Davo. Um, so another short track. And I've noticed all these tracks are actually um, anti-clockwise too, which is... Um, Interesting. Quite interesting. It, it, and they interesting all seem, seem to be around that three kilometre mark, too. Eight turns here, five left handers, three to the right. Yep. And um, so that's two more than two more right handers than we had last week. And uh, <laughs> this this particular track is a roller coaster. This is so fast. We've been watching a little bit of pre race practice, um, mm. some really awesome elevation changes particularly downhill like they've got some very steep downhill elevation change on uh, this track very flowy very fast um, look 
I thought they were they really had their head around it last week, the way they were dealing with, uh, again, another very flowy track, um, JB, but, um, oh man, this week, it's, this is a nice track, this is good, yeah, perfect hey, for these cars. Let, let's hope, <laughs> here, these camera guys, um, they, they get a bit of their shit sorted out oh, too, and yeah, they keep, keep it out of the bushes. Off into the bushes yeah. <laughs> Yeah, interesting track. That's um, what was it back in the 1964 uh, when the horse first built? It was actually a dirt track, and it was for many, many years. Actually, yes, they, I they had a lot of, lot of dirt racing until um, yeah, around the, the 1973. They actually paved the track ten years later. Yeah. Um, and um, here we go. So, can't you see a little bit of that orangey clay-looking stuff off track? That is that reminiscence of the yes. runoff from the dirt that back there you in, the in the days. You wonder whether they still do a bit of rally cross around these sides here every now and then. But uh, yeah, beautiful looking track, super fast, like we were saying. And, um, yeah, very nice. And again, another track, JB, that I've never heard of. I've never driven this place. All, I've done, like the, the, all I know of it is what I've watched. These guys are uh, on screen practicing, and it looks fantastic. I'd love to have a car. Yeah, I um, had the pleasure of driving a Porsche around this track in the early stages, and it's um, got great ele elevation there, as you see. Um, especially in turn one, they really rip downhill there, and then they work their way back uphill. Um, so, yeah, great corner, that, that turn one. It's, um, yeah, it's the, the clock that 10 minutes will disappear pretty quick. Notice, pretty notice last time round with tyre usage, the, what was happening was that we saw the guys ducking in at that uh, five minute mark, about halfway through their quality, just yep. to get another set of tyres. We have heard the tyres are on an accelerated wear, so that's why they are ducking back into the pits and they are having to drive back around the track. Sure, sure, and I'll just be, uh... Ah, oh, is that a name that we, I haven't seen for ages? Bear Grylls. Yes, I'm seeing that name too. Welcome, Bear. It's great to see you here. Big Bad Bear Grylls. Awesome work. And it uh, looks like he's oh. well up to speed. So, look at this. The boys start coming across the track. I saw a little bit of a screen grab earlier oh. today that showed yes. the top ten with, with, with nine tenths of a second. Within a nine tenths of a second, this, this is a fast field. Brad Luck at the moment, first position, Dave Zero, Aaron and I. Uh, we got Steve O, Bear Grylls in fifth position, awesome. Mm. Born, Bobby Laycock, Farmer, JB is the ring in, uh, Kenny Simpson, Pats, and Glenno. Where do we watch right now? Well, I, I did just have the cameras on Born before he um, had an absolute off track excursion and oh. looked like he wrote that car off. So that, that shows how much these guys are Ooh, pushing. Yes, yes, um, yes, the lateral grip. When it when it does break loose, it looks bad. So, yeah, he will be out there trying to get the lap in. But, yeah, like you said, where do you look when it's so... Look, I, I tell you, that up the front, though, those two guys are separated by zero point zero zero six. Man, that's close. That is close. Glenno just popping it up the top there in, the, in just a few seconds ago with a uh, one minute point eight oh. Bradley not far behind that. Dave's got a little bit of work to do. Just keep an eye on Brad here. Coming up into the final complex of corners. I think this is, yes. Better than I think he's behind a little. It's unfortunate. Zero coming out of the pits. He's got a Aaron backwards. <laughs> Stop <laughs> pretty straight. We'll move, we'll move away from that. Uh, Steve Belly. Oh, just watch him drop into that fast right left hand of there. Super downhill run into that very hungry looking corner. T1. Unbelievable. Very fast, even T2, the left, again, up around this right. Beautiful track, roller coaster. Yes, Davo, they do 
make their way around this, this track. It's, um, they've been on board with a few of these guys. Just seems to even wipe out the sign there as he came off the track. <laughs> <laughs> so any of those boys that wanted to break on that 50 metre board, that is gone. <laughs> yeah, okay, so don't rely on the 50 boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, what they, these guys are having to do when they get their new set of tyres is actually drive back to the pits. Um, Nice bed of flowers actually on the entry there, so. <laughs> yeah, plenty of work to do for these guys. Four minutes remaining. Just gonna just pop on to Dave Zero here for a sec. I will step away from the mic for two seconds. So yeah, Dave sporting the yellow colours is traditionally carried throughout the season. It's also nice to see a lot of these guys are carrying their same livery. It's easy for us to all keep track of when we see them on track and we're starting to notice that um, um, and start to recognise these cars on track when they're, when they're bunched up a bit more. And, um, also, Dave, um, how Italian stallion, uh, has bought his... Uh, Made along with him to nine at the moment, Pats. Uh, he's an Italian racing here at ASRNZ, so it's nice to have Pats on board. He was here last weekend, uh, last week, and still here again. So, just to recap the positions on the leaderboard with three minutes counting down, we have first place Glinger on a one minute point eight. Brad also on a 1 minute point 8, Dave Zero a 101 flat, two tenths off the pace there, it's very close, Dave Zero 101, Farmer in fifth a 101.1, Aaron Enright 101.2, Steve Devo 101.2 also, Bear Grills got back, uh, eighth place a 101.5, Warren 101.5 also in the top 10, Bobby Laycock, 103.5. So top 10 basically separated by a second there as we see it. Um, just noticed uh, Glenn making an improvement on his time that was close between him and Brad before they were separated by bugger all. Now that margin a little more. Great uh, gap there, those two cars. Like they're back in the pits to get a, another fresh set of tyres or the run is, is over and over. look at that yep. Kenny, Kenny Simpson is it? Yes. Kenny Simpson just popped to the top he was sitting in the pits for a long time was he waiting for that track to rubber up he's left his dash late to the end <laughs> and dropped into a 101.4 and demolished Glenn's time and instantly we see, we've just seen Glenn <laughs> sitting comfy in the pits or I don't know what he was thinking but anyway he's straight out of the pits he wants that number one spot from Kenny so but we know Kenny was quick he was our race winner he, he ran away with it um, and and we know last, we know he's been doing plenty of laps in uh, yes. throughout the week and uh, uh, yeah no surprise whatever he was doing in the pits there while he was waiting probably eat, finishing off dinner at the old snag bog <laughs> in the bowl. Um, whatever he's doing in the pits, he's made that work, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. And um, I noticed when Glenn did go out back around there, he went straight off the track. So that's, that's that gone, that opportunity. So unless there's an improvement from any of these guys from fifth down on their laps, plenty Ken, of time to Ken, find. Kenny Simpson's the man. We have provisionally got Kenny on pole quite comfortably too. Absolutely. Uh, if you think point one is comfortable, point one eight five. I don't know. It would just have a look at that uh, top five there and just see how close those guys are. Really, yeah, good tight stuff. So, um, yeah. Look, any a one tenth of a second is a good tenth of a second, I think. <laughs> Driving yeah. these cars so, around such a so fast track. Just got watching Steve O as he's doing a last minute dash. Qualifying is all counting down. He got has he got anything more as he tips it into turn seven, the final turn. 
Oh, he's, sorry, he's come across there and he's finished his lap. The back an improvement, no, he stays in sixth. Aaron's still out. Actually, Aaron's doing some great. Been solid actually throughout the championship. We talked about him being yeah, um, definitely. only seven points behind Steve in the championship. So, where he's currently qualifying at this stage ahead of Steve So, that's um, that's gonna play and play well it. for Aaron. Yeah, definitely um, popping it straight back in the pits. Um, it, we just pick up on Bear Girls actually as the session closes. Uh, JB, so here we go. What do we got? Kenny Simpson. Oh my God! Golf claps all around again. Absolutely, yep. Pick, picking up where he left off last week, my friend. Yes, one oh, one minute point four quickest lap we've seen here so far. Glenn second, Brad third, Aaron fourth, Dave fifth, Devo sixth, Farmer seventh, Bear eight, ninth, and Bobby Laycock ten, seventh. And here we are as the boys sit on grid. Yep, we've got a dry track, dry conditions, a little bit of wind there. Not much. Really, the temps definitely just jumped up uh, from what we've seen. Uh, by good, good five degrees ambient and certainly on track, it's really leapt up to 40 degrees now. So track has just got hotter we did see it have a bit of heavy cloud in the early stages of practice and um been a little bit in quality there but blue skies here yeah uh, at the autodrome of international cas cavill and the temperature's gone up too yes it is heating up jb we're winding down to the start. Round five, race one. Yep, officially halfway through the season now. Um, so where we talked about those championship positions, anything can change. It's not going to take much for one of these guys to have a, a bad run and it will flip on its head. So we see the amount of cards we've got. Um, guys are going to have to go into damage control once they start losing points. Now, after quali, we do know that the, um, the tyres, we saw them going in and getting new sets of tyres um, for the race, however, a lot longer. Um, they're going to have to make these tyres last, so pressures will be adjusted, not only for the high temperatures they've got, but the heavier fuel loads too. So they'll be, these guys will be putting their tyre pressures up. Lights, reds, here we go. They start out of Dave Zero's car. Nice stuff from Dave. It's up between the two boys. Very wide, oh, Dave, with a little bit of touch a, up. Had a contact there. Who was that with? And I think that's uh, Steve O. Oh, no, it wasn't Steve O. It was Farmer. On the outside, deals with it. These boys race down into T2. Look how quick they go through those cambered corners. Team Whoa. race one. And these <laughs> and cars five. very, very aggressive at the start, aren't they? It's all happening. Farm, I just a little bit of a touch in the, a bump into one there earlier. Oh, we see a white car in the background. Not sure who that is. Up in the air. Final turn. They drop down into one again. Glenno leading the field really wide. Kenny Simpson, so Glenno got past Kenny. Kenny Simpson, Aaron Enright, nicely tucked in behind Dave Zero. Farmer. Oh, we've got, it's a Bear Grylls, very wide. Bit of aero wash from Stephen Melling's car, maybe. I think that's Brad that's gone around him. Yes, I think it was Brad that got caught up in um, that side-by-side -side stuff there with Dave Zero at the start of the race. Got back a little bit there. Um, 
certainly been a bit of recovery mode for the rest of the race for Brad. For sure, for sure. But He'll look at this, this, this top group of cars racing hard right from the get-go. Uh, no mucking around, a lot of elbows out. And uh, this, this track it just really doesn't give a lot of room to... Look how wide they run up here. Oh yeah, don't they? There's a couple of corners they do it on. Yeah. And, and it's so fast, there's no way you can get up the inside except for just a couple of spots on the track. Mm. So super quick running, following Aaron's car there, Dave Zero. Just a little bit behind, he had a couple of touch-ups on the way through. Took a couple of positions, but not, not the cleanest stuff. But holding down fourth position nicely. Well done, Dave. Glenno up the front. Kenny keeping him honest. Aaron staying with him too. Going yeah, with him. Aaron and right. So the farmer the, now starting to apply a little bit yeah. of pressure on the back of Dave Zero. Yeah, so it's that, it, that, it's that group of five cars, and, and if you just wait a second, you'll see the Melling car just a little bit behind that group, waiting, waiting. The crumbs, anything could happen. <laughs> so we see farmer attack on the back of Dave Zero. Well, any of these cars pushing super hard, aren't they? In the early stages, they're gonna pay the pay a price a little later oh. on, their, on their tire. Oh, we haven't we heard some stories about the tire? Yes. So, with five left-handers, this front right tire, I would imagine, will be punished by the end of this uh, 25 minute stint. It will be burning already. We just got to just pop oh, down the back. Oh, oh it's hard to just. Yes, a bit of farming. Uh, a very Look bit, on. a very bit sideways. Brad, Brad Robinson, we got Bear Grylls and Vaughan all in close contention, and then we have Pats and Bobby Laycock down the back. We need to get back up there because uh, Dave Zero Farmer is in attack mode. He's up the side, on the outside for T1. Look at Steve O. That's He's Belling's car. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're that fast, when, when you're the car behind. It, watching that attacking car, sometimes you just, it entices you to follow that attacking car's line because Doesn't if he it? gets through, you're, you're going, going through, through too. too. Yeah, so. and we did have a quick word with actually Mr. Belling uh, pre-race and uh, he talked about his setup and, and the way he was driving it and how it was handling and uh, it looks exactly what he said it was, he was driving, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, nice work from Stephen. Yes, yeah, so they'll, be, they'll be settling down a little bit now, uh, five minutes in, you've got five, five laps under their belt, they know what the car's starting to feel like, they know where they're positioned on the track, who they're racing. <laughs> uh, and, um, and, and, and They'll be sizing it up, won't they? <laughs> yeah, no, it's seeing Steve, it's like, looking like he's sizing up Barber, actually. Already, as we uh, see out of the front of Steven's car, T1 uh, and 2, look at the camera on this track. Yeah, I think Dave Zero is actually uh, the, the cork in the bottle here, actually, because we've seen Aaron um, just start to pull away. He and has these moved guys a little bit on him. Oh, 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 there's Zero. Oh, oh, Dave, yeah, just off the track. Don't look at that. Oh, he regathers. Oh, car's a mess. I think just pushing, and we, we talked about it earlier in qualifying, the, the lateral grip, when it when it eventually goes wrong, it goes wrong big. You know, yeah. with these things, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, unfortunate for Dave there. He's right in the mix there. Aaron yeah, had just was. pulled away from it a little bit. I think he upped the ante with, obviously, Farmer on his back. And now look at this. Farmer's stopped looking forward now, looking in the rear view, because who's right behind? Steve Melling. Yeah, Steve's going to want to stay there because he's got a carrot now too. So uh, they've just made a, another position from um, Dave's mishap. But let's see if they're going to um, closer to the to the car of Enright. Um, if they just start to um, 
not really race each other. Uh, the idea there would be for Steve just to let Farmer pull him, pull him up to the back of Aaron's car. Of course, of course, because uh, they are they are chasing that podium, and uh, that Aaron Enright car is the first car, or the last car on the podium, and that's the one they want to be chasing. Oh, oh, the least as we see Enright sideways. He's lost a little bit of time. Oh, he did lost a, a bit of momentum though, wasn't it? Look at him, because look at the boys come down now. We noticed those other two cars taking a lot more track. I wonder if there's track hey, farmer. here. Farmer chasing now. He smelt the blood there. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at him, he's all over him. That's it, he's just got pizza in his sights now. Oh, matter. you know, and you know what farmer's like? Dog with a bloody bone. <laughs> He'll be all over that now. Uh, whether, whether it be to his detriment or not. <laughs> so, yeah, quickly ranging up. We'll just drop back to Stephen's car, and Stephen is coming with. He's right on the tail of farmer. Uh, farmers going anywhere, Stevens definitely wants a part of it. And yeah, it's closed up now too, isn't it? Last, it round, last lap round, they're all near, near identical times, those guys. So yeah. We can see Aaron's time just dropped off a bit there. Last lap round, but 101.5 up the front, pace back, but 101.9s, 101.7. So, Bear Grylls holding in a solid seventh there, just ahead of of Vaughan. Yeah, nice work from Bear actually. It's a good solid effort. Uh, considering, mate, that not a lot of track time and uh, uh, in a long time. So nice work from Bear. Keeping all that together. Vaughan is <laughs> a pretty solid performer. So uh, doing well. Dave Zero behind as well. And Bobby Laycock, Pats rounding out the field. I might just pop up, have a look at where Gleno is, because, oh, the sister car, Gleno, Kenny, the Motol. Look at these cars, just running away with it. Gleno, Glen Dewar, Kenny Simpson, Aaron Enright, Aaron this Enright. Is heating. This is oh. heating up now. Mate, has this got this is, where, this, this is where the battle is and Wow. Brad actually got far back. You know, he's recovering from that uh, first lap stuff, but he's come up he's come up nicely behind this group, yeah. hasn't he? In the clear air he's been punching out really good lap times and um now Aaron's in defensive mode and this is only slowing these guys up. And it's changed from it's the, the cork in the bottle, you called yeah. it, earlier in the race. And, uh, it won't be long until Brad's on this pack too now. Yeah. And you can see him clearly. But as he Farmer... Knows they're bunched. Yes, but as Farmer attacks Aaron and starts searching for different lines, Devo's going to be wise to this and start taking the ultimate line and and, and ultimately, Farmer could be, become a little vulnerable as he uh, goes offline. Um, yeah, they sort of, but they've got to work. Steve, like, Stevens, he's got to not put too much pressure on Farmer to That's allow right. him not to keep a check on his mirrors and just know that he's he's got his back and and when it happens, I'm coming with that. <laughs> it's just like. It's, it's, it's such a balancing act, isn't it, um, in racing, even just to make the pass happen, but uh, yeah, to be behind, like Stephen Melling is now, behind those two cars, at full attack mode, um, you know, he, he, <laughs> well, he can get nothing out of it, basically, or we'll get tangled up in it, and uh, quite easily. Brad's just about on the back of this oh. pack now. Oh, 
Mama pushes through those first couple of lefts. Brad right up there now. Yeah, he's bought into this. Surely Stephen will start looking in his mirrors too. The thing is, you know, last lap round, Aaron's time was actually quicker than Kenny's time, who's ahead of him, so they're still, yeah. they're still, they're still going quick. Even with that pressure that Aaron's got um, from Farmer behind him. And we the, the, the boys talked in length, the few guys that we did talk to pre-race talked in length about tyre pressures, didn't they? Mm -hmm. JV and... Yeah. Yes, and if they didn't make some big adjustments to those qualifying pressures that they ran, they're in a bit of trouble at the okay. back end of this race if they haven't um, adjusted those pressures yeah, for, for, for this longer race. They'll be... This, we're already halfway through. 25 minutes. It's a uh, little over 12 minutes to go. Still a long way to go for these boys. Yep. Short lap, one minute. They get around pretty quick, don't they? So <laughs> we, we, know, we know there's at least another 12 laps to go then with that clock. And, um, and you know how much damage that can do to the tyre? <laughs> <laughs> so what? <laughs> the crowd on the battle back, this battle pack now. Yeah, oh look, and well and truly on the back of it. Um, it's only a fact, matter of time. Brad, the quickest car on track at this oh, oh, there point of the race, a 101.8. Yeah. Um, a two tenths quicker than the leader. So he's, uh, he's got a, a sizable goal in front of him, Carrot so to speak, uh, with that group of cars, and he just caught well up. And look, what's his lap time stall right now? <laughs> he keeps yeah. going, he will have nowhere to go once he gets behind this little train here. Well, will he be getting the ultimate toe from those three cars in front of him down some of those straights as well? Oh, you'd think so. We did talk about, you know, like, Stephen trying to place his car in the right spot at the right time, and I'm sure he's been holding back. He would be getting that toe already, and now wow, he's see Bradley now. right up behind Melling, and he doesn't want to muck around. He wants to make shit happen. <laughs> he's chased. He's chased all he, this way. He's Here he's in. His car on the inside, but Stevo having to tip in at some point. And it's on. No mucking around. Let's get it done. Did they, Brad, really putting that pressure on? And look, the, the gap that was. Look. Oh, farmer, his farmer goes his farmer through. through. On Aaron. Yep. Just saw that in the upper head. The peripheral there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's going to unleash Farmer, isn't it? He's going to be. Yeah, he, he, I, I think so. I think he had the pace on him. Head down. Hope he hasn't burnt the tire too hard. But uh, look at look at this next. <laughs> just, we've replaced Farmer with Brad at the back here. <laughs> we've just, it's got this, still got this this uh, this threesome going on here. Oh, this is good racing at the back here. This is where the action's at. And that's so oh, close. super close. That is close. That's not even a car length between those cars there, JB. Oh, even into the corner. So close. I've got to go on board and see, see how close <laughs> this is. <laughs> We're going to get in. Uh... Oh, Brad's car. Yeah, yeah. Who's going? Melling's going on. Melling having a good crack at end right in there. Here we T1. go. Brad now Down up side. Brad's like, let's do this. And he's done it. No. Yes. No! Around the outside, he's dropped the wheel in the grass. And he's, and he's uh, done. managed oh, to get around. Felling, no, forcing close. the issue. The stool carries on. Steve-O oh, having a Steve switch Steve back. Oh, on the inside. Oh, he's had a bit of contact oh, there. Oh, look at them. Oh, no, they're getting... They're having a bit of a biff and a barge, and it's a drag race. There it is.
But they were both <laughs> trying to be super courteous with each other, weren't they? And they were trying to do the under over, over under. And, 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 eventually they undered over and over and under. And, uh, and Aaron will be just breathing a big sigh of relief because he was under relentless attack from Farmer and then those oh, two closing in. I can't it? even see him in the camera shot now. He's off. It's just like, yeah. oh, like this. But that will, that will carry on, that Brad and Steve-O battle. <laughs> epic. Oh, okay, so we'll go back up the front again. <laughs> <laughs> a recap. <laughs> Quick Race recap. recap. Uh, Glenno, Glenn Dewar up the front, Kenny Simpson in second, sister car, really not too far behind. Farmer actually just opened up as soon as he got past Aaron and Wright. Enright in fourth, Steve Belling with Brad <laughs> Robinson. Very close. Look at this. It's still As going he on, pops isn't it? it out. Here we go. Oh, it's hard not to watching that, isn't it, Tavo? Oh, he's still on the inside. <laughs> he's on the inside again. And he's got it. Yes, he has got it. Um, now, there you go, just grab that at the right time. Bear Grills in seventh position, Dave zero and eighth. Vaughan in ninth, Bobby Laycock tenth, and Pat's rounding it out in eleventh. Mate, where do we go? Just let's just get back to this Brad Robinson, Steve Melling thing. Brad, mate, he came up on the back of that pack. And it wasn't like, oh, look, we're just, a, you know, like a bunch of friends here. Right? Like the other three had been for the last five or ten laps. He just came up the back and just went, OK, we, 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 <laughs> we want to go past. And he just Yeah, and he's come from a long way back. Too. He has, he has. Getting tangled up early. And, um, yeah, just put the pressure on him immediately and started making position. Farmer, thankfully, I think for him, got past Aaron and has taken off. He's got the head down and he, he's heading for the back of Kenny's car, I reckon. We've got another five minutes to go. Farmer's the uh, quickest car on track at the moment. Yeah. 1018, so, I mean, he's still a good five seconds off the back of Kenny. So yeah, he's, 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 he's got his work cut out, but look, hey. He's in camera shot, so. He's in camera shot, that's right. <laughs> you know, like, and if, if Kenny's worked his tyres hard to keep up with Glenno. Oh, Five minutes to go. We'll watch that space. We still have Brad and Stephen. Stephen is just not going to give this up. No. <laughs> he's, got the, he's got the carrot and, the, and, and talking about the tyres again is you know now it's seeing stabilised at the back end of the race Brad we know has pushed pretty hard to come up to that position has he used too much of that tyre Yeah, yeah. and with Steve-O sitting at the back of that pack for a while mm. just being able to just and maybe conserve and yes absolutely now with four minutes, five minutes to go can Steve-O just absolutely rip that, Every piece of tread off that That tire. last little yeah. wrist <laughs> slither, um, that's right. Get, get back under the, the Bradley car. Oh, oh this, is, this is epic. Nice stuff from all these boys. Bear Grylls still holding in seventh position. Nice work. Dave Zero back in eighth. Vaughn ninth. Bobby Laycock 11th. Pats in, uh, Bobby Lakehawk in 10th, should I say, and Pats in 11th. Glenno yeah, is well out. We got nearly four seconds to Kenny uh, from Glenno. And uh, Kenny, I think, is going to get some pressure from Farmer, surely. Oh, look, we've got a back marker between. I think it might be... Bob Lakehawk. So Bobby Lakehawk. Yeah, so he went, Bobby, we just saw him nicely. Move stepping away. aside and letting the guys roll through. Yeah, so as um, usual, nicely. Very well. respectful of Bob. He's done this time and time again. We've seen how good he is with those cars coming through. Yeah, good good spatial awareness and keeping a, a good a close eye on the pack and what's going on around him. So, Farmer probably running out of time uh, to chase Kenny down, but has got himself on the podium. 
Uh, he has, and he's actually, yeah, you're right, he is pulling that gap in big time now. It's under two seconds now. So still three minutes to go, which is a bloody long way on a track this fast. Uh, Aaron Enright in fourth, Bradley fifth. I think Steve O's backed away a little bit, but still, I think, on the head down, really, hasn't he, JB? Oh, 100% here. We'll have the head down. Oh, the, light, mate. the lights are ablaze. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Give him a flash, Steve O. Try and put him off. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, he's, still, he's actually running still with him, so uh, yeah. Brad yeah. actually oh. not gapping at his... Not at all. Thought, thought he, thought he um, had the pace to do that, but I do think with the tyre talk we, we had, that's probably the reason why he's not able to gap it. These tyres are in worse thick than a young Stevos. <coughs> oh yeah, without a doubt. Just uh, after watching both of these, the, the difference in these guys' races, you know, Brad's chase from the back and 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 Stevens, you know, holding back from a battle in front of him, you would expect um, exactly what we're talking about. Stevens should have a little bit more tire in front, of, uh, underneath him, but uh, Farmer probably pushed enough will not get Kenny. Look, this is just too, too far away. Kenny in second position, two and a half seconds, a little bit more than two and a half seconds away from Glenn. Glenn coming into a little bit of traffic. Surely Glenn's tyres uh, are not real nice. <laughs> to be yeah, yeah like, well, well, he's in a position, isn't he, with a 2.6 second gap. He doesn't matter where his condition is tires in. Right. Everyone else has just pushed as hard as each other. So yeah, yeah. He, he, was at, he was at four seconds before, so... Um, yeah, so clearly he's, he's backed off to He's back well that. off, yeah. Kenny in second. Farmer, third position. Probably going to stay pretty well status quo without any mistakes. Aaron Enright fourth. Bradley Robinson fifth with a great run from the back down the back end of the pack. Steve Melling in sixth. What a battle. That that whole third, fourth, fifth, sixth stuff. Even seventh. Dave Zero climbing back to seventh uh, in front of Bear. Those guys race so hard. That mid pack was epic. Uh, Bear Grylls, Vaughan, Martin, Bobby Laycock and Pats. We have about 20 seconds to go. Is that... Oh, what? What's happened? What happened there? Glenn's gone back. Glenn's gone back. We've missed something. He had spun or something. I just I saw... just was saying about his tie. He dropped way back really quickly. He was, went from four seconds to two and a half. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that, that, that car is not happy. Kenny's just ripped through. I just saw the whole leaderboard change. Him. Farmer's passed yeah, him Yeah, Farmer's well. passed him as well. And now I'm just wondering where, how far back is Aaron from these guys? Oh, he's a bit back uh, from Glenn no, now. No, this no, will be Aaron's the last lap. Aaron's not a threat, but something... Well, unless Glenn turns it. Yeah, unless he's just taken his uh, eye off the screen there for a bit and... Uh, Got made made an uh, unforced error. He, I can see him in the background just shaking the car a little bit yeah, left to right. So I see that as we uh, just come across. It's be the final lap of the race. Following Kenny Simpson, who would have thunk it? Kenny Simpson again picking up where he left off last week. He's going to bring this car across. And Ooh. Farmer, Farmer in tow, mind you. Unbelievable. Here we go. Glen O. Aaron Enright. Bringing it around for fourth. Got Bradley and Steve O. <laughs> these guys. What a battle. <laughs> Dave, That's been great to watch that Dave Zero with Bear Grylls in tow. Pretty bloody close. So that's a nice little close battle going on there. Yeah. Vaughan Martin, uh, Bobby Laycock. 
coming around the back now. Pats. Very similar car to, I think, what um, Farmer's driving. Mate, what a epic, epic mid buddy uh, pack battle there. JB, yeah. let's just run through those positions. Kenny Simpson first. Changed at the end, didn't it? Oh, unbelievable. Farmer. Second, Glenno, Aaron, Brad, Steve-O, Dave Zero, Bear Grills, Vaughan, Bobby Laycock, Pats. In 11th, we must get the top three up yeah, in well, the comms box. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah, we, we got them now down here, P3, Glenn. Yeah, we're our, <laughs> welcome to the comms box. Yeah, we're our race leader. It um, just fell apart on the last lap. We, don't, we missed what, what happened. What the we, hell? We did see your, your time dropping back. Oh, I yeah. fell asleep, mate. To be honest, I was driving to such a... Like, I didn't realise you could drive them that hard, so I drove it really, really slow. And then got to the end, I looked down, fluffed around with something beside me, and then next minute I was off the track. <laughs> so I was lucky to get P3, to be honest. Um... Yeah, so the tyre wasn't as bad as what I thought it was. I just drove too slowly. Well, it didn't look like you were driving slowly for the whole race until <laughs> until, until, until the end. Until Til you fell off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's what you get for not concentrating, boys. But uh, well done to Kenny, mate. He was he was still there. So, but yeah, just most of the race just maintained. I think a two or about a two second gap to him. Just didn't want to stretch it out. Didn't want to get it too close. And then yeah, looked down, fluffed around beside me and. Rest is history, boys, but still made a podium, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, nice work, Glenno. Uh, made it look easy. Made it look easy, my friend. Hopefully we see you oh, in about, I don't know, half an hour or so. You never know, boys. We'll give it a go. Good you stuff. don't know. Good stuff. Well, uh, it, don't, drive, don't drive slowly is what we're hearing. <laughs> that's, and if, that, and right. if you've been driving slowly, we'd hate to see you driving quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we want to see him driving quickly. Let's go. Yes, yes, let's we'll go. We'll see you in 25 go. minutes, not half an hour. <laughs> plenty of action, plenty of action behind you. Um, so, nice. yeah, you'll enjoy that one. Anyway, cool. let's go get these other guys. Well done. Good on you, mate. Awesome, guys. User was moved out of your channel. User joined your channel. Yes, that was... <laughs> that was all it takes, isn't it, Dave? Oh, a, 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 oh. sim a simple mistake, uh, taking yes. your eyes off the track. Mate, was... just that lapse in concentration, look away from the screen, bam, that's what happens. Uh, Glenn, okay. I, a true professional, and uh, User was moved to it happens to the best. Who have we got here? Oh, one of the best. One of the best. <laughs> one of the I, best. I. <laughs> Welcome. Hey guys! <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome, farmer. That was a, a a great battle to watch. That was where the action was at between you, Aaron, Stevo, Brad came into that uh, into play there at the oh, back end. Epic. But that that yeah, was cool. awesome. You, you had some had had, had uh, some quick pace under you, yeah, and you, and you put plenty of pressure yeah. on Aaron and um, put your you time had to there. Down actually, yeah, yeah, I managed to. Um... Get the move done on Stevo too in the first couple of laps, and uh, yeah, and he sat there behind me for quite a while while we tried to chase down Aaron and uh, finally got him. And yeah, it was a good battle. It was a good battle. Race and, went quite quick when that sort of stuff happens, eh? Yeah, and a surprise gift nice at to the watch. end. Yeah, surprise gift at the end there. <laughs> uh, absolutely, I was already happy with the podium, mate. To be honest, um, but one more step higher is always good, isn't it? Of course, of course. <laughs> and you got to be there, as we always say. you got to be oh, up there to take advantage yeah. of it. So, yeah, yeah nice work. But, uh, yeah, awesome to watch, man. That, yeah, no. that The mid-pack battle that you guys were in was epic. It was fantastic to watch. So. It, was, um, it was great to have a car that was good for the whole race this time. So. Yeah, how did, it, yeah. how did the tyre go? It was, yeah, it was okay? Yeah, how did they, how did they oh, go? Uh, the gauge, I don't have the percentages thing up, but... The gauge went down to half, so... Uh, yeah, but fuck at that. What, how did it feel? <laughs> oh, yeah, well... Yeah, no, it still felt all right. Yeah, hey, well, that, yeah. Well, yeah, well, that's yeah, what Glenn said, too. It felt all right, that, actually, right. at the end there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just knocking it down an extra gear around that final turn only. The rest of the track was not too bad, actually. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of surprised. I thought it would be worse. Yeah, cool. 
No, yeah. good, good to hear, mate. Um, hopefully we'll <laughs> see you up here again, <laughs> uh, again tonight. So um, well done. Take a break, mate, and uh, we'll we'll talk soon. Okay, cheers, boys. Thanks, Farmer. Later. User was moved out of your channel. And Kenny, our race winner. <laughs> our race winner. User moved to your channel. Our race winner, Kenny Simpson. Welcome aboard, mate. Hey. <laughs> Hey, well done, mate. Just yeah, pick, that was a good one. Yeah. yeah, picked up where you left off last week, mate. Like we've, yeah. been, I've been saying all the way through the race because you just, just that's what you did. So, <laughs> yeah, nice, yeah. nice, good pace, mate. Tonight, how'd the tyres go? Yeah, tyres are all right. I uh, sort of trying to take it easy and trying to push as well, but but uh, let Glenn in there. Being nice again. Tiki Little bugger. In yeah, in the first yeah. lap there or something, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's all right. I thought, right, I'll sit behind him and we'll see if we can go with him. But yeah. I think he was, uh, I think he was pretty flat out, eh? I sort of think, well, I probably might be able to stay with him, but I don't know if we get him. He was going and quick. He was going quick. Through, but uh, but uh, so I just sort of tried taking it easy. He got away from me a little bit and I thought I'll try and save a little bit, but try and come back at the end but i don't know what happened to glenn there bloody uh, yeah well we heard we, we heard he uh just started um cruising there a little bit and they made a little error by looking down to see something beside him or something and um just basically made his own error and drove off the track so um he did mention that the tires weren't as bad as he thought too so sounds uh, like um you guys are still able to push the car reasonably well yeah yeah i think the, the front was good i just noticed the back was i had to do a bit of speedway driving around the corners a bit so. oh well that wouldn't be a problem anyway would <laughs> no, it for no. you no. yeah <laughs> not fun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, ultimately you were on pole position uh we missed the pass at the start like you said don't be so kind next time uh, you, uh you, you, I don't have a mirror on that side. I don't know if he knows that or not. Maybe that's what he might know because I'm only on the single screen, so uh, I, I can't see him when he leaves me uh, middle. Just give screen. him the squeeze. He'll work it out. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to upset him. <laughs> okay. Good well, on Congratulations. Kenny. Congrats, yeah, mate. Um, yeah, and let's hopefully we talk again soon tonight. I think that mm. qualifying was actually the best time I've done on here and the other. Oh, it's quick. We, I think yeah, it's the we, quickest time we'd seen on the server. Yeah, yeah. and Actually. you left it. You left it late too. We, you, we yeah, didn't see a uh, see I a time up. there. And I stuffed up a couple of laps there, and I thought I'll go back out, keep it cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And smashed it. Smashed it. Yeah, smashed it, mate. Uh, well, well worth it. Just got your yeah, head well, back around it. Oh, we thought you might have been finishing dinner or something. But anyway, <laughs> nah, <laughs> I was gonna just forget about it. And Start from the rear, but lucky I didn't because I wouldn't have caught half of them. <laughs> no, good stuff. So you did well. You put it on pole. Yeah. You won the race in the end. Um, yeah, well done, Kenny. Congratulations. Um, you're doing really well. I'll try and battle with him in the next one. Good stuff. Good stuff. All uh, right, we'll let you get back to a break and um, get your head in the game for your quality coming up in four minutes. Ugh. There we go, ladies right. and gentlemen, our race. Winner, uh, Kenny. User was moved out of your channel. Kenny Simpson, awesome stuff. Um, we need a quick break ourselves. We're going to go to intermission, get ready for a race two. Ah, back in a moment.
Welcome back, everybody, from intermission. The boys are just getting their selves sorted for qualifying. We have just watched the most epic race for race one. It was unbelievable. The mid pack uh, from from three, four, five, six was unbelievable changed positions multiple times uh oh look if, if that's anything to go by the next race these guys are just going to be on it all race uh we've seen Galeno, leader of the championship and leader at the race at the time making a massive faux pas um late in the race to let a couple of boys to go through. JB, are you back with us here, my friend? Yes, yes, just a few dick. <laughs> you are uh, good, awesome stuff. I'm uh, just having to back in this game. Just here, reason, but we are way back in. But yeah, you're right. There's a, what a what a race. We went we went quick. 25 minutes, they um, rip around there pretty quick. These 311 horsepower little P4 beasts. They um, certainly have a ton of aero on them. Uh, we heard, we <laughs> they heard, do, they that, do. We heard the tyre wasn't as bad as um, egg-wise as we thought um, it might have, might have had. So that, that was interesting to hear. going on here at the moment but boys are out there practicing quick recap on the leaders um championship standings uh, again glenn um leading the championship round five uh, on 70 points brad on 57 points in second place in the championship steve -O, 55 points third position aaron not far behind 48 points and dave zero keeping aaron honest as well yeah and fifth in the championship farmer he look, we saw him come through didn't he as uh, kenny sixth and seventh in the championship these two guys were the movers and shakers they certainly went forward um, actually, um, think about that. Aaron would have made a good gain there on Stevo in the championship with that result. Um, Dave Zero suffering probably the most. Absolutely. Born an eighth on 22 points. Bob Laycock very respectfully um, letting those leaders through as he was being blue flagged. 18. For sure, for sure. And so, so are we in, in qualifying or... Uh, we're just in a, just in a holding six-minute practice. Um, cars are just getting back into it. Heavy nice. cloud, heavy cloud again here. The track, um, the track weakness is dry. Um, <laughs> the cloud is heavy. The temperature has dropped again. It's a two o'clock session afternoon here. So a little bit yeah. later in the day, like I said, and, uh, the, the, the sun's a little bit behind, but a bit of, a bit of cloud cover, so track temps are down. I oh, want they yep. could be, so. Temps. Definitely down, but interesting. Um, I think listening to um, Kenny chat there um, about his peripheral vision that he was at. Yes. Um, noting he was uh, very kind at the start of that race. <laughs> to Glenn um, Dewar, yes. <laughs> and um, but potentially um, not wanting to be as kind <laughs> the second way around, and um, let's see what happens. And, Qualifying if um, 
based on the speed that these guys had, I would expect that um, Glenn, uh, Kenny, probably Farmer, and I would imagine um, Brad as well, to be honest, would be your top four. Yep. Based on the pace sure, that we saw sure. throughout that race. Uh, Dave Zero? Uh, Dave Zero, yes, he, he would definitely be up there. We know actually he, he suffered a massive, massive um, hit um, as he came off the track in the early stages of the race there, just as he came through the town to turn one section as he turned into turn two before he got into turn three, he almost went straight ahead there at turn three and into the wall and suffered that damage, which he held for the rest of the race. I'm not sure if these guys can go in and pit and repair these cars yep. um, to get that sorted out, but opting to hold his position on track yeah, with the damage to, yeah, with the damaged carry car. On. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So look, they'll go again. We've got four minutes of practice left. Um, they're going to head into another 10 minute qualifying session after that. And um, again, Let's hope they put on the show that they just did for us. Oh. And you viewers, so... Uh, yeah, hard, hard to keep up with the action. <laughs> um, thankfully for us, actually, most of it was just crammed into that uh, fourth, fifth, <laughs> fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, or whatever it is, or third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Bloody hell, it was so epic to watch. Um, and then we saw Bradley come right from way down the field all the way up onto the back of that pack and really um, put, a, put a stamp on you know, the race for himself. So, uh, nice work from Brad. Some yeah, tough, tough abs battles. Absolutely. Yeah, so... Ooh. Ooh, These guys will be right. probably setting their pressures again. Maybe... Trying to find a different line or two. Oh, you think, think so? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Well, the top five were only separated by 0.5 of a second. Yeah. Uh, and in the whole field within a second. Yeah, and a it, tenth. A tenth each, maybe. <laughs> Just uh, you know, uh, yeah. on average. It's <laughs> like, wow. Our race leader, Kenny Simpson, talking about how he might have to adapt his style to a more speedway style is uh <laughs> yeah he would go figure uh, go figure we right. thought that they would be wearing a front so he's going no my backs were bad so they're pushing they're pushing the guys are pushing we actually see the cars flying yep. around in the practice session a yeah lot there. It, it is spectacular even when they're on their own and would they get would they get packed you know, bunched up a little bit, you know, two, three, even four, we we saw in race one. Um, it, oh, God, it's, it's awesome to watch. Very tidy stuff and great discipline from the boys. Uh, as always, Glenno out. A couple of practice runs, got the headlights on. Crack and one minute point three two oh yeah, just just saw that one minute yeah three that's a quick time that's that's uh, but look at the boys behind him with the 08, 09 and and again we see this on such a flurry track in this type of car the times are so close the, the very little separates the, the field Nice work. It's also nice to see that the, the boys are starting to uh, carry these uh, liveries that are becoming more familiar to you, the viewer and us, the commentators. So knowing who's who. <coughs> oh, yes. It's um, certainly a bit easier to track of what cars um, who's running in. Really still a fan of uh, Vaughan's car. I love that. that the red, red yeah. Great looking car. Yeah, very oh. pretty looking car that. When it's on track. Um, yeah, you see Aaron's car looking nice in the day glow. 
do is talk about the sister cars of Lynn and Kenny there. Number 34's motor. Yeah, don't mind uh, the uh, blue and white actually either for the farmer and I think Pat's is also running. Oh, Pat's has changed. Um, yeah, so, oh, God, it's hard to, hard to keep up with it sometimes, but yeah, the, at least the top end of the field sort of keep it together for us. Livery wise, we're going to go into qualifying any minute. Yes. Three kilometre track here, round five ASR and Z MRX P4 Championship. S. Cavell. S. Cavell. <laughs> Cass Cavell. Don't <laughs> embarrass yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I choose not to try and pronounce it because I know I'm going to make we know, a real of it. <laughs> we, we know it's in Brazil. Um, <laughs> So we know we're pronouncing yeah. it totally yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, every, <laughs> every Brazilian that's listening to this will just be laughing. <laughs> Clowns. Yeah, well, eight turns, anti clockwise track, five to the <laughs> left, three to the right. Um, we did say it was a, an old clay circuit back in the back in the day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I think look. they changed it from, from clay to to tarmac because they banned um dirt racing. Yes. <laughs> I th isn't that what the, the, the story is to go? Is it's just like they banned dirt racing in yeah. the particular yeah. place they were in. It's just like nah you can't dirt race anymore, it's too dangerous. They went, Okay, well fuck you, I'll <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tarmac it and yeah. <laughs> and they did it. So. They did it. Yeah, that's right. And I think so, uh, as well, the, the, the little town, they had about 80,000 odd people. There was in, not a in, lot in, of people in, in the town, but, but 20,000 of them, a good quarter of the, <laughs> the, the bunters of the town turned up to watch the races. So, so it definitely had good clout. The, I think the they crowd, so. crowd funded it before even crowdfunding was a thing. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Used up all the extra bitumen to uh, steal the track. So. We see it as it is today. I'm sure it's been <laughs> there yes. are a few resurfaces. Yeah, uh, just, uh, yeah, throughout, I'm throughout sure time. the way it used to work was a secret handshake and a little bit of a flick of the, you know, the, you know, was, <laughs> the old brown paper bag <laughs> under the counter. And just did it like local. Like <laughs> uh, anything oh, could happen. Okay, here we are. It's a race to round five. JB, mate, we are getting on with this, and it is a bloody fast track. Uh, the guys really spoilt us with a fantastic race, last race. Oh, I can't wait to watch this. Kenny Simpson, fifth. Brad Robinson, fourth. Farmer, third. Aaron Enright, second. Glen O top of the list we're counting down yes we are here we go okay. Kenny with a lazy start loads of people passing zero past him oh oh it's a hell of a scene back there just watching Aaron go from P2 on the front row to nowhere. Way back. Uh, spinning. Farmer. Brad. Steve-O. They're, oh, they're all, all pressing on. It's just gone back to the race one. Yeah, that's a really unlucky for Aaron. He showed good pace there. Um, to be up on that front row. Unfortunately, we don't have the replays. Yeah, can't so. just pop back and have a look at that stuff. Um, but seriously, this has 
briefly gone back to what we were watching in race one. It's on. Oh, look at them. Look, oh, look, look at Dave Zero. Look at Dave Zero with the run on. Stephen into one. We've got Vaughn Martin. Oh, Vaughn on the outside. Oh, just going the long way around. Just oh, kicking that, on the grass. Oh, there we go. I'm confused. This red Bear Grylls is in a red car now. So Okay. It could have been Bear Grylls. This car has changed. Oh, oh he's up he's, into the back of... Who's he in the back of? Kenny. Kenny Simpson. It's the Dave Zero car. Brad Luck. Glenn Dewar is off. Kenny Simpson. Born. Born in fifth. And here Born we go. Kenny. We've just lost Farmer too. Uh, he's gone right back to the back and dropped him behind Aaron. So wondering if there's a little bit of redressing going on there because Farmer yep, was a lot further possibly, up. Quite possibly. So very hard to keep up with what's going on here. Viewers. No replay, so we can't just get back and have a look at these things. But we see here, Steve Belling. Bear Girls right behind him. Yeah, Bear's piling the pressure on this uh, time. Isn't he? Nice he work went. from Bear. Long time out of the seat, and look at him there. Just straight on the pace. Nice work in front of that battle. Born Martin, Kenny Simpson, Dave Zero. Kenny Simpson. He said he wasn't going to be so nice this race. <laughs> yes. He know, they, they know they've got a little bit more tyre in hand too, so they're going to probably push the cars For sure. a, a lot more. Uh, we can see Kenny now super close to the back of Dave Zero. Piling on the pressure. I doubt Kenny will make a good hard move on him unless Dave makes a mistake. I'm sure Kenny the will just, the, he'll just push yeah. that pressure, won't he? He'll just look for the, for the wriggle. That section there they just went through was where Dave made the mistake last time. Last time, yep. So he might be carrying that in the back of his mind if he turns up to that turn three lap after lap. Sometimes that stuff does play a bit of a part of you. You know when you have an off by yourself on a certain corner, you do carry it in the back of your mind every time you turn up there. It does, as we see. Kenny, look, Kenny look, look, looking. Really sly, oh, it in so deep, deep, so deep on that. <laughs> and again, Dave, just probably breathing. A sigh of relief after Kenny just do the very deep braking move there. Bear grills and um, just keep you informed in the back there. Piling the pressure on Steve O. Steve O in a red car sandwich. The back. Yes, isn't it? Good to see Bear, like I just mentioned, um, right back on the pace. Really close to having Steve the pace. Is he? Yeah, Steve O is odd because Steve O seems like he had better pace in race one. I don't know if he's changed something there, but he just doesn't look quite as racy as he was in the first first race. Oh, it's just that Bear looks a little bit racier than he was. No, no, yeah. too true. <laughs> no, too true. Uh, Stephen does look like a little bit off the pace from race one. Oh, oh this bear, bear puts bear's up bear's on the already. inside. Look down, taking that position away instantly. Very nicely done, actually, from Bear Grylls. You know, like textbook pass. 
we a little must. bit of contact. It looks like they're a little bit of side by side, but <laughs> they, they, he's, he's got the job done. And he's got they, the job done. they're carrying on. They, they have carried on, and so we will just have a quick look through the field. Wait, it's still 18 minutes to go. We've got Glenn Dura, Brad Robinson. Brad Robinson, second position so early in the race. Bam, he's on it this yep. time. Dave Zero again on it with Kenny Simpson applying the pressure. We've, we've seen him on him for the last two or three laps. Uh, Dave not giving an inch. Oh, are we going to witness it here again? Kenny. <laughs> they start showing the oh. nose. As one looks forward, the other one starts looking back, don't they? It happens all the time again. Yes. And these cars with these big scoops at the front, as they get up under the back of the other car, it's almost like it really lifts, <laughs> lifts the back of the car up. It seems to. It, it seems to. Context, so. We can have a quick look back. Vaughan Martin, Steve Melling and Bear Grylls. Actually, I think Bear just dropped oh. off in the last half a lap, actually, while we were watching the boys up the front. Yes, we missed that. He had passed Steve-O, hadn't he? He did, he, he did. And he's um, either made his own error. So Aaron Enright in eighth. Bobby Laycock, Farmer and Pats rounding it out. So back, Brad Robinson. Easily in second, Kenny, Dave Zero, Warren Martin, and Stephen Melling. This is where the battle is. Is hey. Bear Girls going to catch up on that, uh, Dave, do you reckon? Uh, not sure. His car looks okay. He's, he's well Steve, back, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's well back. Steve are looking a lot racier now, though, without that pressure from behind him. But Dave Zero and Kenny have swapped positions. So Kenny up into third now. He had been searching all over the back of um, Dave's car oh, there. Oh, he has, he has, that's for, right. For quite a few laps um, since the start of the race, but oh, uh, yeah. able to clear Dave now. And, um, yeah, yeah, and clearly had the pace, but very respectful, Kenny, and, and uh, you very rarely see him stuff it down the inside. I eh? usually <laughs> waits for the mistake, but um, clearly quicker than than Dave tonight on this track, so, and you can see him um, has already made a fairly substantial gap uh, on Dave. Yeah, talking about substantial gaps, Glenn's really stretched that lead. <laughs> five, <laughs> that's yeah. out to a five second gap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll keep our eyes on how substantial that gap gets at the end. Seems to have certainly put his head down now and gone for it. Um, guys just falling into their positions now. Yep. I think the battle to look at will be the Steve Vaughan battle, to be honest. These guys are the ones that are the oh, most on track. very wide. And just as we talk about it, Steven. we see Steve go past him. Part. And annihilating all those all the boards. Boards lucky, on the lucky, side of the track. Lucky yeah. they don't need them up the top of the hill there. So, <laughs> no, no. So nice work from Steve. Pops himself into the top five, and now he can chase down Dave Zero. Um, and I'm sure he's he's keeping an eye on his uh, timing. Um, Stephen, very very clear with the numbers. So he'll be watching what he's doing. He'll be checking his lap time. So. Go Stephen Milling. Yeah, the field now really spreading out, isn't it, Davo? It's not quite as close as what we saw in that first race. Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> but look, if, if they start putting, you know, really pushing the, their tyres, what we may see is more mistakes. So. Kenny already ranged up on the back of Bradley here. Uh, we were talking about Kenny's pace before yeah. after he got past uh, Dave Zero and uh, not sure whether whether Brad's made a mistake and come back to him not uh, privy to the, the time sheets there but uh, 
what well, we do Brad know is... was five seconds behind, so he has lost a second to the leader. It looks like it, because Kenny's right up behind him, and bloody Dave's not that far behind, so it looks like Brad's come back to him a little bit. Yeah, it's looking like that. We're not even halfway through the race here, JB. No, and Kenny's looking hungry now. He's really, he? really he? close, so... But again, like you say, he'll wait. He'll pile that pressure on. He, he yep. knows he's got the pace. Easily got the pace. And drive it really well, too. And, and, and like at the end of the day, if he just sits back there for a while and chills out and follows these guys, he's, he's conserving his tyre at the end of the night, isn't he? It's just like... So That's when right. he does... Look at them switching now. Any really searching <laughs> side to side, <laughs> having, a, having a look. Yes, yeah, so having a bit of a look here and there. It's, I, what I'm waiting to see is a bit of the speedway style where he's uh, <laughs> well renowned for. He's famous for, isn't he? Yeah, and here we look, go. A, here we go, he's just already put it up beside Brad. Make Brad go the long way round. Not the optimum line for Kenny. No, it's holding that shallow line and. No, not at all, but he did hold Brad White there for a, a couple of corners and really showing his intentions, I suppose, um, no, JB. And you know, that, that, that psychological game, isn't it? And, and, and what's interesting is we just were talking about that gap before. As these guys race, their times are so much slower now, they're not even racing at their race pace. No. Well, and Walglin's at race pace, and these guys are just you know, slowing each other down. Look, the gap's opened up to uh, another two and a half seconds. Ah. There we go, Kenny's got the Kenny's job got done it. now. But nice we'll expect mate. to see him, him tear off into the distance. No, and, and Brad, respectful, and just, just holds that, doesn't contest it once it's uh, it's all and done and said and done, but... Um, well, well we Kenny, Kenny, stay, Kenny stay in touch, though. I mean, look, this is the thing, and look, can he just pulls in our car a little more straight away, immediately. Yeah, see, Brad might be thinking of his championship too, because he's, he's second in the championship behind Glenn. Yep. He's, uh, he's ahead of Steve -O by 13 points. And Kenny, where's Kenny in the championship? He's two, three, four, six. Kenny's seventh. Yeah. Brad's yep. second. So. You know, albeit you know, these guys will still want to fight for the, the best position possible, he may still be thinking, look, hey, third's, third's good enough because it's, it's, it's better it's than right. being spun out or something hey, and, and finishing um, last. And we're only, we're only round five. We still have another three rounds to go. So, um, yeah, definitely potentially playing a long game. Why uh, wouldn't you too? Oh, of course, yeah. of course. So yeah, nice work from those boys. Dave Zero just hanging in behind. Steve Melling in fifth. Vaughan Martin, sixth. In a fair bit of clean air there, nicely. Also Aaron Enright, Farmer in clean air as well. Bear Grylls driving a, the sister car for Vaughan at the moment. Looking slick. He was right up the pointy end early as we just see him just get out on the grass a little bit for a little bit of trimming. Uh, Bobby Lake yeah. in 10th, <laughs> Pats in 11th. Awesome work, but look, where is Glenn now? Jesus, mate, he's nearly nine seconds in front. There's 10 minutes to go. How, who, how, how do they, these guys compete with this? Well, when they stop racing each other and get into clear air, I'll say that, that, that <laughs> they've got half a that, shot at yeah, it. They, yeah, well, half, half the half of his lead is um, through him being in the clear air. Uh, well, these guys, you know, just really, <laughs> yeah, it makes it look worse. But um, what's interesting is I'm just keeping my eye on Steve O's position and Aaron's position. The Steve O's second, uh, sorry, third in the championship behind Brad. Um, only by a couple of points. So those two are running very close in the championship. And Aaron did take points out of Steve-O in that first race. So 
that gap between Steve-O and Aaron is very close for third in the championship. Yep. Okay. Now we did see Aaron go back. He was he was up on the front row at the start of the race. Yep. He yep. went to dead last. Uh, we now seeing Aaron moving forward and he's getting closer to Steve-O, but it looks like, you know, 10 seconds, 12 seconds behind. I don't know if he can make that time up in eight minutes, but no, I doubt. I doubt, but um, he still. needs to, he needs to stay in touch. It will be there or thereabouts with Stevo to maintain to keep that gap. As it stands, I'd say these two will be very close for third position in the championship. In the championship, uh, when they walk away from this uh, race tonight. So again, other uh, again more drivers playing that long game. I think uh, JB and and just trying to keep their head down their marks, they know where they are in the championship. They need the position, don't they? Well, they do. Yeah, and um, and Farmer, you know, some... what have we got to say for him? <laughs> well, he, he oh, did see him. We, well, <laughs> yeah, we clearly saw him. Um, the tangle at the start must have been between him and um, um, Aaron. That's, no, why we saw, no we, that's why yep. we saw Farmer drop right back. Yep. Uh, but, you know, Farmer, we do know he had he, he had great pace. He was second yeah. in the last race, so um, very quick on track, too. Yeah, but there you go, that, that gap now between Glenn and Kenny C has not changed ever since Kenny's um, got past Brad. Um, and, and, and Kenny hasn't actually pulled that much of a gap on Bradley. So Brad's um, matching Kenny's pace. Is Kenny, and we keep talking about the tyre. You know, like, has Kenny pushed so hard to get up and past Bradley that, um, you know, he, he hasn't got much left in that rubber. You know, like, we've got, what, seven minutes to go now? It's, yeah, well, it's, it's Ken, like a third of the race. Yeah, Kenny and Brad three tenths quicker than, yep. than the race leader Glenn. The last last lap, so Glenn doesn't need to really push anymore. But we do know that when he starts driving slowly, he falls off the track too. <laughs> so, so he's got to watch that. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, um, Dave Zero and Steve-O now that battle is he heading up we've got um, that for P4 and P5 Four, five. Five. Yep. So, um, steve is really ranging up now on the back of Dave Packs, um, and, a good and, and, part and of two tenths quicker probably ranging up on the back of Zero mm. as we see him dropping in to one and two. Yep. Awesome Guys. track. This is, a, this is a beautiful track. Flying undulation. Corners that lead to the next corner. Yeah, it's a uh, few off camper corners there at the top there, five and six. They up, up here, this one really can catch them out. They run onto the big back straight out of six here. They run a lot of um, that Astro turf. That real wide. And this, uh, this, this elevation change down. Yeah. The final corner. The no, final look corner. at them as they run. Oh, the final corner there we go. Real Milling. wide. It's a drag race. Melling all over it. Poor position. Levo up into P4. Beautiful pass. Just pressured Dave Zero there. That and he, he set that up um, perfectly well for that he? final turn. That was set up. Yeah. All right, up at the top there. Tex textbook stuff, mate. Nice work from uh, from Steve there. Puts himself in uh, fourth position behind Bradley. We've got Glenno. He has eased off a little bit uh, to Kenny. 
We saw, I think, uh, Glenn well over eight seconds in front now, back to about seven and a half. That's to right. Kenny. Yep. Uh, Brad in third. He'll be stoked with that third position if he can just keep that up. We've got four minutes to go though, so <laughs> just I don't yeah, want to yeah. put that bloody curse on him. But no. uh, but, but look at Dave, Dave Zero and Steve O there. You know, there, there was that position change there. Look, they've come up, so they're, they're almost side by side again. Oh, Dave having a crack on the inside. So this position is not over. These, yes. are con these guys are contesting it. <laughs> right to the end, three laps to go. There and thereabouts, oh, maybe Dave. four with three minutes getting down. So. Oh, for sure, for sure. No, Dave just totally shining in these cars. I'm after watching him for the last 12 months or, uh, or whatever it is it's been and uh, oh, so quick in this stuff Steve well out wide now this is where we saw Stephen get all over the back of Dave Zero's car take his position from him can he reciprocate I doubt it Stephen's just got the discipline tonight Heads but, down, his eyes are forward, yeah, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is, it is. Glenno now out in front still. Two and a half minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Lap 22. Kenny, eight seconds behind. Look at that. Eight seconds. Eight. Eight seconds. We, we, yeah, we see last lap round of both of them are 1018. Kenny 1019. Glenn is actually at 1019 then. So they're, they're lapping at the same pace. Yeah, but it's so late in the race. But Glenn really getting his head down again. And just pushing them for those first final couple of laps. Bradley. Steve Milling. Dave Zero, Steve's got the head down. He's just going to push that last little bit. He's got, he's got it on Dave now. Vaughan Martin, sixth position, seventh. Aaron Enright, Farmer eighth. Bobby Laycock and Pats in tenth, rounding it out. Glenno, got a minute and a half to go. Nearly nine seconds. Really pushing. At least the time goes quick. Um, it does. <laughs> <laughs> 25 <laughs> minutes. Oh, yeah, we're bloody man, hell. Where did it go? And I, I, I think these quick laps, they just keep you entertained. Oh, they? oh they're so fast. Kenny Simpson, like literally nine seconds behind Glenno at the moment. Bradley, third position into... T1. They'll be doing their last or second last lap at the moment. Steve O definitely gapping. Zero now. Warren, Aaron Enright, Farmo, Bobby Laycock, Pats. Oh, oh. Brad, Brad. What's happened to Kenny? Kenny's gone off. Kenny's off. No. Oh. Kenny's in. Kenny's in the pits. What's Kenny doing? Brad. Brad's in Ken, second, Kenny's Steve versus in third, Dave zero, Kenny. Oh, oh Kenny's go cockpit view of Kenny. He's on the um, on the side of his the track in the fence. Oh, oh, cockpit view oh. of Kenny. That's why we. Oh, where is Kenny? Look oh, at the cockpit. My. Oh, oh we, we, we've got this. There we go. There it is. <laughs> what the uh, hell? There he is. He's ladies stuck. And gentlemen. So. Out of Without a replay, we cannot explain how that happened. We might have to drag that man up here. And look, he's still in the comms box here now, actually. We're just up <laughs> a little bit above that. So. <laughs> oh, fantastic. We see the cars ripping past on in the infield there. As Kenny's uh, gone for a coffee or something. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, we're okay. okay. Uh, uh, unbelievable. That's, that, that has just changed the podium. Just okay. like that. Uh, hasn't it? What? We've got Glenno on screen now. Does, 
he's coming around. Let the finish the race. Well done, Clan Drua. I was just uh, watching the, the, the split time we were wow. talking about. Wow, Brad. <laughs> God, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Brad, Brad Robinson in the second position with uh, Steve O right behind him. These guys now second and third. Now second and third. Yes. Dave Zero now in fourth. Uh, Vaughan Martin in fifth. Aaron Edward in sixth with no mistakes. Come on. These guys over the line. Farmer in seventh. Bobby. Pats. Kenny. Still probably on the wall. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. He can't, they, the tow truck can't even get him from that position. Uh, we can, we yeah. can just sort of walk out of the comms block here and lean over that balcony there and just go. <laughs> just go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that ain't bait. <laughs> there you go. What are you doing down there, Kenny? So there you go. What an epic race. <laughs> Bloody hell. I thought the first one was awesome. <laughs> and, and this is what happened at the end of race one, Davo. They, um, just as we thought we knew what was going on, it all changed at the at the, at the very end. It did, it did. Right at, right at like the dying stages of the race, so. Oh, yeah. So there we are. We've got the points up. We've got the uh, board up there. We've got Glenno. Glenn Dewar, first position, Brad Robinson, second, uh, Steve Melling, third. Look, I, we can't even get through that stuff. Let's go to the the, the, the hot box. Let's go to the here hot box. Here we go. Well, we're going to drag him down yeah, here. Yeah, and beer as well. Yeah, here we go. Uh, is well, this? this is Steve-O. Uh, welcome to the comps box, Steve-O. Congratulations on P3. It all um, changed at the end so dramatically. Oh. Um, <laughs> but you were there. Yeah, I didn't know that until I say the last or second to the last lap. I looked up and it was like, "Where's Kenny gone?" Or somewhere already gone. Um, he was up yeah, in so the comms box situation. with us on the side. <laughs> <with his car. laughs> it was. He, he, he had it well off track up on the side of the fence. It was quite a spectacular yeah, piece very, of parking very, for very Kenny. Personal moment there with Kenny. He was just like right up there with his car. Um, yeah. Awesome stuff. So how was your race? That's Stephen. How, how... Yeah, it was, it was a bit eventful at the beginning, and then it yep. was some like recovery mode. Um, and I say I feel like I got a little bit lucky, obviously at the end there. But um, yeah, just sort of being able to put my head down and end up with a good result. I'm really surprised because um, yeah, I got shuffled back pretty early. Well, at one point we saw Bear really um, putting the oh, pressure on. You had two, two red, a red yeah. car in front and a red car behind, and um, yeah, she passed me, and um, <laughs> we saw it. We saw it. Oh, very good. <laughs> um, and then a bloody good pass too, much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Born, Born was driving really well, and just yeah, one mistake for him, and yeah, you can't make those mistakes, eh? Hey? No, no, yeah, no. When they do happen in these things, it's it's it's. It's big, you know, like the yeah, lateral yeah, grip yeah. on these things. It's like if it's gonna if it's gonna snap, it's snapping hard. So, um, all, all the aero, if you say if you exceed that amount of grip, it's gonna go off. Yep. Yeah. So well done, Steve, mate. You've been epic to watch tonight. You. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I've enjoyed it. It's been good fun. You're yeah. Right. I need a rest. <laughs> I have one of those beers, thanks, guys, and I might go sit and watch the stream. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, well, take take more than one. Um, you got two races to watch, so <laughs> yeah, you'll need a cut. You'll need a kiss. You need, you need a few. Grab a six pack. <laughs> awesome. Cheers, boys. Okay. There you go. So well done, Steve Melling. User was moved out of your channel. Wow. Hey, Brad Robinson. User was moved to your channel. Hey Brad, uh, welcome uh, P two. Uh, hey guys. Uh, well, well, yeah, lots of lots of pace. Um, probably more pace in the first race, but you 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 had um, your sights on um, any there, um, and then he just disappeared. I almost went with him because I was watching him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my plan was just to sit, stick with him, but once he got past, man, he he was off. Oh, he's fast. 
Yeah, he was he quick. quick. And um, you were fast tonight. We thought we we sort of half expected you to be up um in the podium on the first race. Oh yeah, but uh, first lap instant. Uh, yep, sort of put me off there, but um, yeah, it would have been good. Yeah, yeah but that... you made up for it. Race it's two. fun, fun racing around here, eh? It's great. Yeah, great. But the cars look good. They were sliding around. Um, you, everyone looked like they were using a little bit more of their tyre that time, for sure. Uh, I yeah, think I mean, the, the tyres are definitely um, wearing, but yeah, I think everyone's just abusing them now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were, the cars, you could see they were definitely sliding around right, a lot more that time because inclu- everybody <laughs> knew they had more up their sleeves to yeah, use. So. Yeah, so including yourself, abusing the tyre. <laughs> well, a little bit. I'm trying to train myself out of it. <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> oh, not so good. <laughs> no, that front right was toast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because well, some, some some guys are saying the backs are toast, and some guys are saying the fronts are toast. So depends how you yeah, drive. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, that's right. If you want to drive with the rear, you can you can definitely fry that outside rear. Yeah. But if you lean on the front, you know, yeah, it's, well, it's give or take. Yeah, not look awesome chase in race one, man. We didn't get to talk to you, but. Uh, yeah, it's a good chase. You, yeah. Oh, I, I thought I could have almost had Aaron, but I didn't realize man. we had another lap to go. And then I touched yep. the grass and it was over. Yeah, super quick, man. And uh, you were off in race two, so you just, you wanted it. So, yeah, good to Sorry. watch. Glenn was off, though. Jesus. Oh, man. How do you keep up with that? <laughs> well, Kenny, man. Kenny was just so consistently smooth. He's a pain. <laughs> 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 but he's put it, he's put in a lot of time he has uh, practicing put in a lot of lap. and then he's getting the getting the treats so yeah second in the championship Brad we saw you yep. just um you know kind of keep your head cool there at one point of the race and uh, thought, just decided to stay where you were going and, and just carry on and finish um in third but you have the second in the end so yeah yeah that's, that's great a win for your championship book. And didn't completely throw away race one either, so that, that's right for the points. Oh, for sure, for sure. We thought you might have been playing the long game, so it's good. Well, Steve and Aaron are right there, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> are, are, are you worried? No, not at all. We're just playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that's great to hear. But yes, you know, you're right. Steve-O is right there. He's driving uh, great. Aaron's got good pace too. Um yeah, like done four zeros that are creeping in here and there. Um, but well done, P2. Cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no, awesome, mate. Awesome to watch and, uh, yeah, enjoy the stream. We'll uh, hopefully talk to you next week. All right, mate. I'll catch you then. See you, man. User was moved out of your channel. There you go. Now. Now. Bye. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Down here. Who is this out. guy? Yo, yo. I'm not sure what postcode he's in. Wow, well, you sort of, you did sort of say you don't fuck around and get into it. So I thought, oh, well, we'll see if we can't. Yeah, can't do what we said, and yeah, car was good. I didn't fall asleep that that one. No. Nah. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Yeah, I think well, yeah. I think you ramped it up at the end. Actually, I think you were nearly out to eight seconds or more. Uh, finished at twelve. Oh bloody hell! Yeah, oh, I think we we saw Kenny really charging, and you was holding it. You were holding a nice level gap with him there for a bit. You pushed out a little bit at the end, but then Kenny decided to, to um, yeah go to space or somewhere. He, yeah. he wanted, I think he, he oh, wanted yeah, to jo- join us up uh, up in the comms box. He was talking about him sitting on the fence or something. Oh well, he was he was up in the fence for sure. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely up in the fence. Um, <laughs> and so obviously found that little bit extra, or that was just a little bit extra that you didn't give for the last race or the first race, should I say? Yeah, no. Look, I drove to to um, I think Kenny's. Delta, whoever was in, yeah, Kenny's Delta in race yep. one. I just sat there, kept it at sort of two or three seconds, and yeah, sort of. It's probably not the best way to drive it, but the, with the tyre being so uncertain, the front right being so uncertain in this track, there's so much talk during the week about this being yep, the, yep. the worst track we've come to for degradation in the front right. Um, 
I had done some race simulations and that, and I was pretty comfortable with the with the race car that it would look after its tyre. But I think I probably listened to everybody a bit much and and then backed out of it. And then yeah, just looked down beside me and made that critical error and fluffed around and lost two spots on the final two laps. Yeah. So that that last one, I thought I put my head down. I tell you what, I don't know if you've seen the start, but the start was questionable, but I got away with it. Um, <laughs> I think, yeah, when I jumped, dumped the clutch and let it go, it must have been right on the, the split second right the lights went out. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I got away with it, so. Yeah, we usually watch uh, yeah. a couple of couple of position, a couple of rows back uh, in car because yep. the, the uh, track size is not real nice to watch. But um, mm. uh, everybody looked, that... like, looked like they had a great start except for whoever we were watching uh, Aaron and uh, Farmer <laughs> looked like they might have got caught up, which is they yeah, anyway. had great pace there. So, but yeah, woo! Wow, you're, half, a... you're, you're past the halfway point now. Yep, you, you're, you're well and truly. Ex- well, yeah, um, no, no, really. I mean, the back end of the tracks, the back end tracks are, are pretty exciting too. So, I mean, they've all been pretty exciting, and um, I know that the the powers that be in behind are talking about amping it up a little bit. I think there was talk about a potential night race and then maybe a potential mm. uh, maybe a potential wet one and then maybe even potential for the tyre to wear out a little faster. So, Oh, okay. I, well, that will be interesting. <laughs> Although you guys, you know, like sort of talk down the tyre uh, you know, like pre-race and, and, and even after the uh, first race you guys were saying, well, it wasn't that bad. You know, like... Nah. And, no. So obviously you just sort of up up the ante a little bit, race two. Yeah, I think the guys are tuning the cars really well yep. now too, you know, this far this far into the season. Yep, I know there's, for a, sure. there's a lot in the setup, you know, and even early in the evening tonight, you know, there was talk about sort of what temperatures and what KPA you should be sitting at in the race to try and prolong the tire. For sure, for sure. The guys are thinking about it. So. Yeah. Well we we can see it in the car attitude even, you know, like Especially yeah. the last two tracks because they're a bit more flurry, but yeah. we can see you guys like really getting your head around it and you know like really pushing the limits, the uh, <laughs> the lateral grip limits of these things, which is awesome to watch because yeah. they really do it well. So um, well done again, yeah, cheers, tonight, boys. bro. Um, we'll let you get back to the to the group and um, yeah, hopefully we talk to you again next week. Yeah, appreciate um, you boys. Thanks for um, putting on a good show. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to settle into an ale and, uh, and and flick it on in a minute. No, we'll grab grab a couple more and take them. We give them away. Take, take them to the boys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good one. Thanks, awesome. Glenno. Talk awesome next wisdom. week. Oh, hey, before I go, yes, I just like a big shout out to the guys that raced last weekend um, in the uh, ten hour enduro. I don't know if you guys had mentioned it at all, but you know. Mad respect to uh, to all our members that went out there and raced that race on Saturday um, last week at Watkins Glen. Um, they all did a fantastic job, and um, yeah, really proud for those guys to have gone out there and had done such a great job at, at another community. I think it's um, it can only it can only do good things for us. So yeah, uh, shout out to those guys. Absolutely, good on you, Glenno. Thanks, mate. Talk soon. User was moved out of your channel. There you go. Whew. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, like we said, it's oh, uh, yeah. the time goes quick, doesn't it? Um, it, it does Glenn, go quick. Glenn's certainly the the guy to beat at the, at the moment. He 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 said he's going to put his head down, and he did uh, that time. Um, the other guy's not much to ask, answer for at this stage. He is running away with the championship as we go across the halfway point. Uh, we just but, we, but, but can you see that like that top five? Uh, look, after talking but to they, a few of those boys in the mm. in the hot box um, just over the last couple of weeks, there's a couple of guys definitely got their eye on the championship. You know, like wherever they may be, mm. and um, so the, the, there's a couple of boys playing the long game. So it's not just. Um, well, the ones in the mix, I think, are certainly Glenn, Brad, Steve, Aaron, and Dave. Zero. For sure. Uh, Far- for Farmer sure. actually right there, but st- if, yeah, like yeah, maybe two. a little bit away, but yeah, definitely uh, yeah, having a crack. 
they'll give it a bloody crack. Hell. Bloody um, hell. Well, we know Farmer's going to give it a crack anyway. But, um, yeah, awesome. Again, JB, what do you reckon? Great night tonight. Yes, it is. We just um, saw that um, the racing was nice and close. Um, the cars um, looking fantastic on track. They and mentioned then that there might be murmurs of night races, wet races, and extended or even more accelerated tyre wear. So for us as um, viewers, it's going to be it's fantastic to, 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 to watch. And harder for the drivers, fantastic for us. So yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So plenty to look forward to, viewers. And um, I suppose now we're just going to wrap it up, and, and I must thank... Look, everybody that's uh, joined in tonight, watch this live, or who's going to watch this later tonight um, after the stream, because I know a few of the boys watch this later on. I'm Dave O. I'm this, JB. And <laughs> we're going we're gonna to call it, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us.